Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time I left you hanging a little bit and I did a little bit of side stuff. And I gave you all my speculations of what I think is going to happen next. And now, the exciting next episode of Xenoblade. Are you ready for this? Because I'm ready for this. Lady Maineth, here I come. To wreck the day! Now, I don't know if there's going to be a cutscene right when I get up here, or what, or another teleporter, or who the what the fuck the... Who knows? But we... Ooh, ooh, blue item. <laughs> we begin the long walk of awesome. It's just a long walk. I don't know, is there a door over here, or a teleporter, or are we just going to, like, stare at her giant ass? She is freaking humongous. But I guess she has to be if she's controlling such a giant ass robot, right? Venea, where have you been? Egil, why do you go so far to destroy the Bionis? We survived that battle. We should have created a new world in which we could live in peace, and we still can. The rage of those who were annihilated by the Monado will never dissipate. Think not about avenging the dead. Think of the living. Please, Egil. I... I don't want to lose you. Are you so resigned to giving your life for this? Life or death, I care for neither of these. The agonized cries of our brethren resound within my ears. Until they are silenced, I am deaf to all else. Egil. So, you have finally arrived, heir to the Monado. Yeah, I'm here. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do about it? You are Egil, leader of Maconis. That I am. Of course. You have never seen me outside my face, Yalda Balf. But even if I am without it, you will never defeat me. Wait. I didn't come to fight you. Cowardice. Then relinquish the Monado and kneel before me. I didn't come to surrender to you either. I just want to know something. You have my undivided attention. Ask your question. I've seen the legends of the Machina right here in the capital. I think I understand why you want to fight the Bionis. But why send the Mechon to attack the people of Bionis? <laughs> I don't see the joke. We share the same world. The Homs, Nopon, and High Entia live in harmony. So why not the Machina too? Tell me, boy. Are you familiar with the concept of starvation tactics? Of course. A military strategy in which you cut the supply lines and starve out the enemy. So, then you understand that that is the best method by which to ensure victory. I have no resentment or hatred for the peoples of Bionis. I am simply depleting the Bionis energy. Striking back at the titan that robbed my people of their lives. I don't understand. Perhaps you need me to put things more simply. All life on Bionis exists purely to feed its master. What? Ether. The base element of all things that exist in this world. My body, your bodies. You are aware that ether is the foundation of them all. Y yes Ether is power. You are the source of that power. All life that is born from the Bionis dies and is returned to the Bionis. Unlike the Meconis, the Bionis feeds on ether provided by those who return to it. Upon the moment of its eventual awakening, it will require an incredible number of lives. But... that means... What are you talking about? Are you saying we're just food? It was the Bionis that created you for such a purpose, not I. So you attacked Bionis to reduce the Bionis power supply? Correct. You are nothing more than bugs to be devoured by my sworn adversary. 
Do not speak to me of your foolish dreams of unity. Foolish? We only grieve for those we've lost. As you do. Machina or Homs, we've suffered the same. Don't tell me it's different. Indeed. We have both suffered. So then. So then, I like how they do these little, like, fade-out cuts. I don't see a point in them, but whatever. You doubt my convictions, my reasons. In order to avenge my people, I have risked everything. Can you say the same? Yes, we can. To get this far, we fought long and hard. And yet, you do not fight me. Your words are useless. It is only strength that can prevail. Shulk, this whole thing stinks, but he's got a point. Agreed. Egil, leader of Maconis. The lives of the Machina, and the lives of all that lives on Bionis, are one and the same. We won't stop. Not until you realize that. So we're gonna beat you until you understand. That's the rules of any game. If you don't want to kill them, you just beat them until they believe you. Yeah, let's do it. Egil, level 70. Bring it, bitch. Oh, God. And, of course, he had to bring his little homies. You know what? Let's take out his homies. I don't know if that's the best way to go about it, but let's do it. Seems like a good way to go. Anyway, so all the stuff we just learned. Um, I, I have to say, I didn't expect Egil... I mean, I knew he had a plan and a reason for what he was really trying to do with the whole battle. I knew the battle, there was a reason why all the Mechon weren't fighting back in that one battle out there with, you know, the Bionis people were fighting all the Mechon and then they noticed that the Mechon weren't fighting back or whatever. I didn't think it was going to be starvation tactics, though, huh? That was a little bit of a, a weird, uh... I didn't expect that to be his, like the wording he would use to describe it, you know? That was that was the part that threw me off. Yeah, yeah, do your little move and see what happens. Bitch. Bitch. Uh... Oh, I already did it. I was like, what the hell? Never mind. I forgot shield, like, automatically goes. Okay, apparently this guy does art seal. That's fun. I don't know. I probably should have put some sort of ability on, or I mean uh, equipment on that made sure I was protected from art seal, but to be quite honest, it's not that big a deal. Alright. Like I did with the other ones, I'm killing off his his little lackeys because, well, it's gonna save some time. I guess Shulk could just do it on his own. He, Shulk kicks enough ass on his own. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I'm worried that I might lose this battle or not. I don't, I don't think I am. But there's always a chance he goes crazy when he's about to die. Literally, he can go crazy status on me. We'll just have to see. Let's see if we can get a good hit on him with the buster. Busted, son. I gotta let my Monado charge, though. It's good to have it charged up at all times. For fear that he might do another move that I might want to block. What's he doing now? Homing missiles. Alright, let's see if we can get our shield up in time. I gotta recharge my Monado, though. Well, if I don't get enough time, we can always revive Gunban if he dies. I got enough chain attack built up. Okay, hurry up. Get shield, get shield, get shield. Ah, sometimes I forget what order they're in. We're good. We're good. Bam. Well, Ricky's helping a lot because of all his debuffs. I'll just say that now. If anything was the correct choice, it was Ricky. Because look at all the debuffs he has on him. Strength down. He's getting poisoned. He's burned. This is good. A good choice of party, I think. Because then I got Dunban and Shulk just dealing out damage like fucking gangbusters. So, did we kill Egil or did we just beat some sense into him? Well, let's find out, shall we? Gotta love JRPG logic. Uh, how could this happen even with the Apocrypha? You know, Egil. You know the reason. Hmm. <laughs> The power of the will to protect your own. Is that what you refer to? And what of you, Venea? You would side with those of Bionis and attack me. 
You have forfeited your right to exist. Perhaps. If that is to be my fate, I gladly accept, brother. As would any of the villagers. So the few remaining members of my people have now betrayed me. Interesting. You're wrong! The villagers and I, we just wanted all this fighting to stop. Egil, all we wanted was to live with you in peace. Nothing more than that. Nonsense. There will never be peace until the Bionis is destroyed. Brother! <laughs> Your blade. It did not cut deep enough. The Golden Mechon. Permit me to apologize for calling you Bucks just now. You proved to be a worthy adversary after all. Shulk. All right, as with any boss that's worth being called a boss, there's a second form. Yeah, now we get to fight him inside of his mech on. I was hoping we would, because to be honest, that would have been a little bit disappointing if that would not have happened. Like, sure, he wasn't that easy to kill because he had a lot of status effects he liked to, to uh, inflict, but to be honest, if that would have been it, that would have been disappointing. Okay, I can't heal. He has art seal on me. Thank you. I was a little bit worried there for a second. That's one problem with the game, not having items. When your arts are sealed, there's no way to heal. Um, should we use a chain attack? Let's do it now before he gets like too much shit going on us. Let's see if we can get a good chain attack in on us. Maybe we can bust one out like we did on Mr. Jadeface earlier. That was a pretty badass chain attack, y'all have to admit. Ooh, boss and boss and dance. Boss and dance. Boss and dance indeed. Let's boss and dance this fool to death. Only problem is he's got a sh he's got defense. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Feel the buster, feel it, feel it. I'm I'm excited to see how much damage this is. Yeah, oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Now nah, he has that defense, that defensive like whatever shield. So I didn't quite do as much as I hoped, but that was still pretty damn good. And now I gotta recharge my Monado before he kills Dunban. Come on, Monado, reset. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Luckily, that move takes forever to charge. I think they do that on purpose so they give you a chance. Luckily, everyone's doing moves to like slow down his, his charge of it, too. That's actually really helpful. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely a good party to use. Dunban and Shulk deal out awesome damage, obviously. But then combine that with Ricky's ability to just go status effect crazy. Pretty, pretty fantastic party choice. And what? We're not going to get to finish defeating him now? Oh, come on, man. I thought it was going to be it for Egil. Prepare to die. Shulk. No. Zanza. Zanza. Uh. I won't let you kill Shulk. You. That luck. So you have returned. Our grievances have come and gone. But you are willing to lay down your life to prevent me from achieving my dream. You were the one who said we would live together, Lady Mayneth. Yes. Mayneth, the villagers. Everyone loved you. That is why they wish to live alongside you. It's all so clear now. To Maynath and to me. I waited until the day when you would awaken once more and create a world full of light. But you are nothing more than a traitor. To me. To all those who worshipped you. And to our fallen brethren. Please, you have to listen to me. Egil! I will not listen. Your words mean nothing. You have sided with my sworn enemy. 
and gods can never exist alongside mortals. Maynet! Mechonis, it is I, Egil, I, your devoted servant, offer my body and mind to replace Maynath as your new soul. Take my spirit and be reawakened. Mechonis! We have to run! Get out of here! The whole city's gonna come down! Shulk! Run where? We have to get out of the city! Get as far away as we can! No time. We have to get ourselves out. No! I have to find him! Gado! Uh, uh. Pull yourself together. Remember, Sharla, we've got a job to do. What's gonna happen if the Maconis starts moving? But... What's gonna happen to Juju and Atharon? Gado's a Hom soldier. He wouldn't have hung around here to die. He would have got out. Uh, all right. Right. Now, come on! <laughs> Shulk! Well, looks like that's the end of Gado for sure. I was kind of excited to see if Gado would live and then we get to converse with him, but I guess that's not going to be the case. And as expected, I, I pretty much expected that this was going to give me a save point. Um, I wasn't sure how far into it, and we're not even at 20 minutes yet, so let's keep going, shall we? Now, I, may, I should say that I don't really care if this episode goes long based on what we've seen so far. By the way, freaking awesome so far. Yes. If a catastrophe were imminent, it would naturally be preceded by a sign. It can't be. Convey these orders to all troops. Pull the front line back to the Bionis arm. All units, withdraw from the front at once! Sir, are you sure? Victory is in our hands, Your Highness. We must strike the final blow. Do you not realize where we are? Sir? Listen to me. We are on the sword of the Mekonis. <laughs> Calm down! Calm down! Oh, it's moving! Oh, are we too late? Melia, be safe. All units retreat immediately! 
The Mekonis is about to awaken! Damn it! I was counting on you, runt. Like we're floating in midair. Fiora, are you doing this? Lady Manus, you have awakened once more. This light. Was it you who saved us when we fell from the fortress? Manus, where's Fiora? It's okay. I'm here too. After all that occurred at the fortress, my soul was exhausted. But I was revived by the cry of a young Holmes. By his wish to protect you all. Gado. If he had not acted as a shield, I would have been unable to save you. I am sorry. Gado. Saved us. Now he's... The Mechonis! Where's Hegel? Shulk, do you hear it? The awakening of the Mechonis. This is my pain. The pain of my people, echoing through the millennia. Fall to your deaths, worthless insects! Stop this! Kalyan and the others are still on the sword! Our friends are going to die! Stop! <laughs> The monster is gonna pay! Uh, uh, Atharon! Fiora? Oh, sorry. I can't do it. Oh. Fiora! You are aboard Junks, the Machina ship. It was he who informed us that you were in danger. I'm glad we found you in time. Thank you. Hey! Ah, what a stroke of luck! You're still alive! Dixon! Man, y'all shouldn't be so happy, though. The Mechonis just got revived. Y'all should be pissed or scared out of your minds. Then again, they all seem like they're the ones that knew about this the whole time, if you remember my speculation. But we'll see. They're probably going to reveal a little bit more right now, I would hope. By the way, that thing's a ship? I didn't know that. That that I did not know. So you were unable to stop Egil. <sighs> Sorry, Father. I have failed you. Venea, there's no need to apologize. So, what do we do now? At this rate, that blasted Egil's gonna destroy Bionis. Alvis, what happened to the Allied force? I informed His Highness of the possibility that the Mechonis would awaken. His Highness is wise. He will have acted to minimize casualties. That's good. Brother. There is still time. Fiora? No, you're... So it is her. The Mechonis and I exist as one. Egil is using ether energy absorbed from the Bionis to force it to move. 
There's still time before the Mechonis fully adapts to the Aether. Egil is at the core of the Mechonis. He will be controlling the Mechonis from there. Only by destroying the core will you be able to stop the Mechonis. But how are we to get there? The Mechonis capital is destroyed. Father, how much remaining energy does Junks have? Don't worry. I made sure to fill her up. <laughs> On the back of the Mechonis is a huge cooling duct. We should be small enough to enter the control core section via the duct's heat transfer conduits. Junks can take us as far as the duct. You have our gratitude. We must go there at once. Then let's get a move on. This one's for Gado. Here, here. Too right. Gado's wishes live on through me. We will fight to the end. Alvis and Dixon, those sneaky little bastards. When you are ready to depart for the Mechonis, let my father know. I will prepare the vessel. Understood. Oi! Look at that! What the... There is little time left. We must stop Egil this time. It is in your hand, Shulk. I know. Is that it? Okay. Wow, we can move around again already? And it looks like Dixon and Alvis are going to follow us around for now. Okay, so we have to go in here to fly to the Mechonis, I'm guessing. I don't think I want to do that yet, though. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Can I go anywhere? Let's check my map. Like, to see if I can teleport. If I can't teleport anywhere, then maybe I have to do that now. So let's just pick, like, random place, like Prison Island. Oh, why would I want to go to Prison Island? That's not a good choice. Yeah, it looks like I can go there anyways. Uh, Aerith Sea, there's a good choice. Yep. Looks like we can still go anywhere. Now, someone said you can't go to Alchemoth anymore. Is that true? I can still go to Alchemoth right now. As far as it says. Yeah. So it's not gone yet. Yet being the operative term and we're getting close close to where i want to end the episode right now so i think i'll just go ahead and say a few words and we'll end the episode so based on what i just read and learned and listened to and all that um from what i gather that I, at first i was wondering how they were going to explain why uh Egil isn't just freaking destroying the shit out of the bionis right now like why isn't he just chopping into little pieces right now because the bionis can't really defend itself but they explained it. They said it takes time for the ether, and, and Egil doesn't really have full control. He actually just forced it. I, For a minute there, I really thought that he was actually taking control and taking taking her spot. What's her name? Uh, taking, um, wow, why am I forgetting her name? Maynith. Taking Maynith's spot. I really thought that was what was happening there, for a second at least. But now that they've explained that he didn't really take the soul, he's just controlling it with force makes more sense and it and I and it's a believable story of why he's not simply chopping the Bionis into pieces right now kind of cool kind of I guess it's kind of cool I'm not gonna lie all those scenes were freaking awesome a um, little bit sad to see all those people die I'm curious to see actually like which people actually died I'm imagining that most of the main characters didn't die though I can't imagine Ultron is dead if Ultron's dead, I'll be surprised. Oh, if Captain Mustache is dead, I'm gonna be pissed. It doesn't look like the Prince died. It doesn't look like Dixon and Alvis died, obviously. I wonder if the Chief of the Nopon lived. I have to check on him, too. But next time on Let's Play Xenoblade, what are we gonna do? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys tell me. Is there something I should be doing right now? Since I can still, it still seems like I can go anywhere I want for the moment. Or should I go on the ship and head to the Mechonis? Like, is that the next thing I should be doing? 
I guess we'll have to find out next time on Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. So I will see you guys then. Peace.